Good afternoon, everyone. Today I would like to talk about early snowfalls across Eurasia and how that is affecting the grain harvest at this time. The snow and moisture on the seeds will create mold, so the total amount of grain harvest could be a certain number, but the actual usable amount of grain from that harvest will be something quite different. The entire premise of my videos is based on the idea that solar cycle 25 and 26 will have decreased solar activity, which will usher in an era of cooler temperatures for the next 30 years or so. One of the main things I'm focused on is the grain harvest and the amount of available grains for the planet as the temperatures get cooler. Here we are, early snowfalls have stopped the harvest in the Ural Mountains. If you don't know where the Ural Mountains are, you can take a look at the map here. The bubble indicates the, the area which I'm talking about. And as the government forecasts come out and tell you, well, we're going to harvest this amount of tonnage this year, it's actually smoke and mirrors. When the wheat's damaged due to moisture, it's unusable for either animal fodder or for human consumption. So you might grow a ton in the field, but when you harvest, if half of it's wet, you're only going to get 500 kilograms usable seed out of there. Snow covered wheat harvest. I mean when you harvest this, once that melts it turns to water. Your seeds become moldy. They're not going to put this in the grain silos with a dry harvested seed. This is going to be unusable. They might have a small amount of time where they could feed it to the to animals if you need, but as a usable thing to, to grind into flour and put on the supermarket shelves, this is not going to happen with this snow covered wheat. We find the same conditions happening in the Ukraine during their corn harvest, early snows. This is what damaged corn looks like after moisture gets into it. Whatever's in the field pretty much stays in the field. They can harvest it, but it will not be mixed or used into our industrial processes. This is a look at some of the conditions right now in the Ukraine while they're harvesting their corn. Russia this year has slashed its wheat crop estimate by about a million and a half tons due to early snows. And again, when I'm talking about crop losses because you can't use wet grain. Sorghum's damaged. Again, it doesn't matter which grain you're talking about. It could be flax, buckwheat, millet, sorghum here. If it gets wet, it's unusable. And that's the key factor to keep in mind when you see these forecasts about record harvest. What's the usable tonnage out of that total? That's the key question. Eurasia is a, is a large wheat growing area as well as corn. Notice the Siberian snow extent. The red line is 2014. Notice how far above it is on the 20 year running average. The next graphic here on the left shows the October snow extent for 2013. Notice how much greater coverage there is just a year later. And in the Tibetan Plateau, you notice there's a greater extent of snow this year as well. Central Asia seems to be the spot that has the earliest snows this year. Let's talk about Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan. Russia's to the north, China's to the east. Snows are arriving a month early in Kazakhstan. Kyrgyzstan also had early snows. Uh, four people died and tens of thousands of herd animals in the past years were frozen this year as well. Unexpected snows earlier, a month earlier. This comes right out of the United States in the Herald News. Cold wet weather slows start of harvest. I talked about this in my last video saying that the fields are going to get soggy. It's going to snow early and that will affect the, the harvest. Now look at this. They're less than 15% on the corn crop. Usually they're around 50% harvest by this time. That's 35% below normal. This will be a recurring trend year upon year. This happened in Alberta back in September as well. Early snows covered the wheat crop. What I'm trying to show you here in the videos is that this is not something in the future. This is not an event that we have to prepare for 20 years from now. It has arrived already, and this is the first couple of years that the signs are showing. There's no more preparation. It's implementation. My next solution is vertical farming. You can do that on an industrial scale using disused factory spaces converted into large scale grow out areas. Plastic bottles are one really easy way to do this. You can do it in a vertical fashion in a very small amount of space, even inside your window sills in your homes. Plastic bottles are great. There's millions, billions of those laying around us right now. You can just convert that, cut it, fill it with dirt, grow your plants. And as well, almost every style works. This horizontal style to allow gravity to feed and, and water the plant so there's no rot in there. Thanks for watching. Hope you found something useful out of the video.